quite excited to meet Ed's mom and dad. I've been waiting to meet these guys for probably since my first date with Ed. And I think by meeting his family, I will determine whether or not he really is ready to be with me forever. Here we go. Anybody home? Hello. Hi. How are you guys? I have been dying to meet both of you. Judy, right? Yes. Jillian. Hey, Rick, great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you guys have no idea what your son has been putting me through. Sit down. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I, when I first met Ed, Edward, as he introduced himself to me, <laughs> I was pretty much smitten right away. Ed was like exactly what I'm looking for. Um, which is... Which is like tall and dark and handsome and beautiful eyes. And I love his sense of humor. Um, I love that Ed is incredibly intelligent, that he's passionate about his job. It sounds like he has a great family. I mean, one of the first conversations he had was just about both of you. Um, he talks a lot about what Christmases are like back home, and it's something that's so important to me. Both animal houses. Yeah. A thousand little kids running around, like... I'm surprised because yeah, you're an only some... child, so... Yeah, know, tons right. of yeah, that yeah. is a tons cousin. of cousins. So, tons of cousins. This is a big family. Yeah. <laughs> and I told them about, like, the cards, like... I love again. to sit around and play cards. Do you? Oh, no. I love it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, love, no. I love it. What a connection there, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play cards. No, seriously, so. Judy, the more he talks about you, I'm like, huh. I'm like, well, if I moved to Chicago, I know I, who I'd be hanging out with. Jillian, how would you like to go out and talk with me? Let's do that. Yeah. I've got lots don't of questions hurt her, for you. <laughs> oh, no, I have questions Be for gentle. you. I know so much about Ed, but I want to learn about his family, and I want to learn about the things that Ed can't tell me. The things that only his mom can tell me, only his dad can tell me. Ed's family's approval is really important to me. So what do you think about all this? It's crazy, right? It is crazy yeah. because I thought he was out of his element. I yeah. just didn't think this was something he would do. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised and I'm okay with it now. Yeah. Well, I think I have a really strong connection with Ed and I really love being around him. And I think, you know, Judy, when he left, it worried me. What if I go through this whole thing and there's that last guy standing and I'm still thinking about Ed, what would I do then? I just missed him a lot. And when he walked through that door again, I just like, I couldn't breathe. What the hell are we doing here? What is going on? I was able to salvage my job. I was just deathly afraid of it, to be honest. I was concerned, I really was. My dad has a tough time with me being here and putting my job on the line. So I definitely have to convince him that I'm here for the right reasons and that uh, my job can take a back seat right now. I'm not at the point where I'm gonna give up my career because yeah. I, I have a crush on this girl. Right. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done to leave her and like, I mean, I really felt like I made a mistake by leaving. Making a mistake is not bad. I actually appreciate it more that you said that you made a mistake and that you changed the direction again. Because if you can't do that, I mean, how can you ever, it, that's what life is, it takes a lot of turns. I mean, honestly, this, this isn't like a joke. It's crazy. And we get along awesome. We really hit it off. I swear that I would get engaged if she picked me. You know that. I know, honestly, yeah. just, I just have to pull the trigger and I'm capable of doing that. I just wanna make sure it's the right person. I don't take marriage lightly. I just basically told him how serious I was and how much I liked her. I can see there's some excitement with him, and he doesn't get excited that easily. When I see that, I know that he is happy for me. I can only hope for the best, though. I mean, I, I, I think that this is a, a rather unusual setting. And I liked the girl. I think she's a, I think she's a nice girl. Do you think he's ready for engagement and marriage? Ed is the type of person that I knew when it was time, he would know. You could tell when somebody's with somebody they want to be with yeah. and when they're just dating him first. Right. For so you see a difference in Ed then with me? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Excuse me. Hey, I've come to talk to you. Okay, good. Thank okay. you so All much, right. Judy. Bye. Thank you so much. Mm. You've done a great job of raising your son. Thank you. I'm definitely looking forward to talking to Ed's dad. He is somebody that Ed has described a lot, and I know that he takes this very seriously, and I can't wait to hear his opinion on this. I, I would like to know a lot of things about you. Okay, I am, um, I'm from a small town. I've worked so hard in my life to go to school and to prove myself, and... How, do, how does Ed fit into that? 
I think we're at the same place in our lives. That's what I get the impression. Yeah. And I told him, when two people really have feelings for one another, things will come yeah. easy to you. I've never seen Ed put his feelings on his shirt sleeve. I haven't seen it before. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I just want you to be happy, that's all. He is an incredible, incredible person. He is a best friend. Good. That is the person that he is. Good. What you see probably with him is exactly what you're going to get. And I, I hope you can appreciate that. All I can say is you seem like you're a really nice person. And I hope that things work out with you guys. Thank you, Rick. Thank you so much. I and appreciate it. You're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I just know that Ed and Dillian seem to click. I want them to enjoy what they're doing. I want them to be happy. And that's all any parent can hope for. I think it went great. I could have asked for it to go better today. I just feel very, very fortunate right now. Ed took away the opportunity at one point for me to really find out if he's the one. And now he's giving me back the opportunity 100%. And he's making sure that I didn't miss out on any of it. And that leaves me going into tonight feeling very relieved and very confident and happy. What did you think? Um, I thought they were amazing. Both of your parents are super protective over you. And your dad was like even protective over me. Like he just wants us to not get wrapped up in all of this and make the right choices. He reminds me of my dad in a way. Like your dad is super emotional about it. Oh yeah. He's like, I'm the only thing that exists to him. You know, and he wants me to be very happy. Well, that was a good surprise today, Ed. Good. Thank you. I have a treat for you. What is it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Jillian and Ed. Aloha. And welcome to the beautiful island of Maui. If you do choose to forego your individual rooms tonight, please use this key to spend the night together in the fantasy suite. What do you think? Well, um, <laughs> of course, I could not pass up the opportunity to spend more time with you. Thank you. Ed has really blown me away again by bringing his family all the way to Hawaii so that I can meet them. And I am so proud of him. And I would love to wrap up this day so him and I can have some, you know, intimate, cozy, sexy time and get back to what this day was supposed to be all about, just me and Eddie.